Gonna nip out in the I3. Ding! Famous sound. No music on, purely because I don't want to get a strike by the good old YouTube. This is gonna be part one. This is seven things an EV can do, which a nice car cannot. In fact, if you think about it, it's gonna be part two, it's gonna be 14 things an EV can do that a nice car cannot. Well, there's a massive list and that list starts from the very first time you're in the house to where we are now driving an EV. It's a totally different concept, leaves the antique behind and makes this, makes the EV journey such an adventurous futuristic thing. So when it comes to ICE cars of any stature really, be it even the top end ones, an EV leaves them behind in tech and things that it can offer you. Enjoy the video. Um, this is something you cannot simply do with an ICE car. I'm gonna show you now how an, an assistant, a home assistant can help you. Now it might be Google, but we don't use it in this house. Well, we have got one, but the main one we use for our entertainment and fun and answering questions and asking it this and that is Alexa from Amazon. This is how it works. Okay, this is something you definitely cannot do with a um, regular fossil fuel ice car, and it's this. Alexa, open my BMW. Welcome. Here are some things you can ask your BMW. Check my battery, or ventilate my car. If you need help, ask anytime. Alexa, unlock my car. All right, let's unlock your car. Please tell me your four digit PIN. Got it. I'm unlocking your BMW. This can take a moment. See you soon. Alexa, open my BMW. Hey there. Welcome to the My BMW skill. How can I help? What's my battery status? Your BMW's battery is at 65% and your car is not charging. See you soon. There you go. Now try and get in that okay in your ice car <clears throat> something else that just cannot be done with a ice car fossil fuel car dyno fuel car is regenerative uh, braking now i'm going to show you a little thing in the i3 as an example some are really really good the i3 is excellent on its regen uh, what regen basically is, is every time you pull back and don't use your accelerator, the car slows down for you. It thus creating power, i.e. electricity, which then gets generated back in to your battery pack. It's quite minute, but on long journeys or if you're doing a lot of hill descent, you create a lot of regen. So it does work. It's a very clever system. Like I say, some cars haven't got it as strong as the i3. Tesla's is quite good. Some you can even adapt on the steering wheel now where you can change them and have them really strong, medium or light. So that ain't a bad thing because then you can, if you want it to slow you down real quick, as soon as you take it off, great. That's where your regen is. You cannot do that with an ice car, but this is how it looks on my dash when it's regen. Again, regen, watch the bar go to the left as I take my foot off really slows me down don't you you just simply don't use any brakes whatsoever that's slowing me down using the regenerative system in this i3 and every time it shoots off to the side there where it's telling me your speed limit which i always keep to by the way that is making me electricity putting fuel back in my tank try that in a nice car you can't yeah white van man look architect listen clack 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 diesel now obviously he's got his heater on and his music so he's having to keep it on tick over burning fuel and polluting i do believe it's illegal now to actually sit there ticking over but he's doing it i won't give you his registration or anything he knows who he is but anyway that's what it is basically i'm sitting here now heater on 25 degrees no pollution no ticking over absolutely nothing you can't do this with a nice car 
we just turn it off not needed on this mild day oh look listen still there folks chug 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 horrible diesel dog at the same time and we'll see what we can see ice ice horrible so this is one of the main roads through the estate quite busy normally but this time of day everyone's gone to work thank god but if you notice there's still a few out there not one ev just old pretty much antique fossil fuel cars The next one I'm going to mention is actually one of the biggest joys to me of owning an EV. Charging up at home. You ice drivers have to go into a filling station which could have a fair few queues. In fact, sometimes you can't get any at all, can you? But I won't dwell on that. The joy of charging your car, the joy of putting fuel in your car at home. And this is how easy it is okay you've got home you want to put something in that because that is where your fuel goes simples now charging as simple as that. And then if you want it to stop charging, you can either enter the car, which will make it stop. There you go. If you want to start it again, it's ready to go, lock the car. And it'll start charging again. There you go, it clicks on. Far easier than fueling up at a gas station, paying £90 to fill your tank isn't it i can now go inside go to sleep get breakfast get a cup of coffee go chat with my family do what i want to do for as long as it takes or as long as i want you can't do that with a nice car one of the other simple joys of ev ownership and you can't do or haven't got with a nice car is a frunk a front trunk I've shown this before on other videos, but I'm going to do it again. Frunk. There is a lot of ways of getting into this. That's one of them. This is with the comfort pack on my EV. So all you do is press it. Also got it on the key as well. So let me tell you. Now on mine, I'm not saying it's the biggest frunk in the world, but it is extra storage space that you do not and cannot get on an ice car. Get rid of these horrible leaves, it's that time of year, folks. Little tip for you, always do this, clear all this crap out, because it blocks your channels up and your waterways and whatever. Anyway, this is my frunk, 
and in here is a totally waterproof bag and again in there also I have an extra coat if it's raining granny charger there first aid kit extension lead and of course my normal blue lead that you see charging now that also goes in the frunk so extra storage space dry bone dry and I know it's bone dry because I've also got this here which seals it all the way around so a frunk you don't get that in a nice car as I'm looking down on you ice drivers no I'm not I used to be one 45 years being a petrol head people so but again this is the last one I'm going to mention on this part one again it goes back to the regen system and that is that the regen system as it's doing it and operating doesn't use your pads doesn't use your rear brakes so it's brake wear brake wear is a massive one it's a massive saving um, it, it's something that uh, not many ice drivers would realize doesn't happen and that is that you don't replace um, your brake pads and rotors and discs if you want to call them that I call them rotors because I'm sorry about Americanism there but the disc rotors and the rear brakes anywhere near anywhere near as you much as you do with an ice car let me explain these here the rotors and the pads I've not replaced them I can't find anywhere that anyone has replaced them this car has got 40,000 miles just turned and that goes for the fronts as well as far as I'm concerned these are the original disc rotors and the original pads I may be wrong but I can assure you on EVs the pads and rotors will last four times longer nearly than they will on a regular ice car so that's something you just cannot get with an ice and I know for sure I know some Nissan Leafs with 60 70,000 on the clock um, that have actually still going on original factory pads because of the regen system you just do not need to use your brakes because the regen does it for you you miss some massive savings there you know to send to, to, to replace a, a pair of these not factory but aftermarket and pads both sides plus labor three to four hundred pound so that is something you just do not spend money on on EVs I'm wrapping it there folks hope you enjoyed this one look out for part two as quick as I can do it um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks I've got quite a few projects on at the moment so you EVers enjoy owning EVs and if you haven't got an EV and you've got a nice car think about this and think about what part two is going to show you as well.